first thing you need to know, I'm from Taipei. So if you're not from Taiwan, you need to 100% believe what I'm saying, okay? Okay? Taiwanese guys have big dicks and no problems with self-esteem. <laughs> I like to whisper some philosophy so girls can be like, oh, that's stupid. Now that that's out of the way, uh, I'd like to teach you a bit about our culture. So if you've been here for a while, about 15 days or so, you can see people burning shit on the road. That's because they think that if we burn dollars on earth, our ancestors can receive it in heaven. <laughs> so the people who really hated their parents got together and built incinerators. And just whatever trash you have, burn it to your ancestors. <laughs> Arsonists are just trying to put a roof over their families. <laughs> <laughs> so it's raining again. It's, it's raining every day. The, the chances of finding yourself in the rain in Taipei are, are, are like the chances of finding tourists in Amsterdam. They're pretty fucking high. Okay. Um, um, so, you probably tell I go to the gym. Okay, fuck you. Because <laughs> in the beginning, when I said I have a big dick, you're all like, ha 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 ha, and I say I go to the gym, you're like, oh, seems fair. <laughs> the thing is, my gym is on the third floor, right? And on my way to the gym, you can see these motivational posters on the staircases, and they're all like, Get sexy, like, be like us, followed by no judgment. <laughs> no judgment. That's a bodybuilder equivalent of I have a lot of black friends. <laughs> Which also happens to be the Christian equivalent of God loves gay people too. <laughs> So you probably know that 250,000 went on the streets. People went on the streets today to um, you know, march for a same-sex marriage. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Nice, nice. So once again, the Christians are at war with the LGBTIQA community. <laughs> Swear to God, if you don't give these people same-sex marriage, they will run out of letters. <laughs> Seven down, nineteen to go. Soon they'll be introducing the Greek alphabet. <laughs> I want to be an oh my god. That's what people say when they see my beta delta. I think there's nothing wrong with being gay, you know? I think, in fact, the very earliest human beings were aroused by the same sex. And that's why scientists gave them the name Homo erectus. Oh, that joke actually worked. I was afraid, because that joke usually doesn't work with Americans. Americans are afraid if they learn Latin, they'll become Latin Americans. <laughs> all jokes aside though, I'm all for same-sex marriage. I believe that gay people have the same right as anyone else to lose faith in love. <laughs> you know why the word gay used to mean happy? No marriage! Like, no marriage. <laughs> when the Christians came along, they saw gay people so happy without marriage. And they thought to themselves, we can't let anyone take that away from them. <laughs> you know, when J.K. Rowling was coming up with the character of Professor Snape, she had Christians in her mind. <laughs> They're both secretly protecting your happiness while acting like complete dicks. <laughs> So speaking of other useless relics of the past, the British royal family. Do you have any Brits to the crowd tonight? Brits? You like them in the UK? Alright. Why is that still a thing? Right? I think, I think the British royal family is trying to preserve Christianity. Because you don't know this, but when Prince William and Princess Kate have sex, they are saying the Lord's Prayer. Yeah, Princess Kate would be like, oh, oh, oh. To which the prince would receive, hey, your will be done. That's all I have to say. Thank you guys for joining.